Hey everyone, Two Extreme Dave here yet again. Might as well finish up this how to make an emailer through Photoshop and uh, teach you guys how to actually be able to send it out as well. So first things first, we got our basic PSD here, Photoshop file. Now what we need to do is we need to go and we need to cut this bad boy up. So we take our slice tool, come through, start slicing it. Get our side walls, this is going to be our background. Careful how you slice these up. That was just a control positive. Be able to zoom in there. Let's cut out our header piece here. Cut out our middle section. And cut out our bottom. Alright, now we got it cut up here, file, save for web devices. Come over here, you got your original, you can select from your optimized, up to four, go with four and up. I will select this one here. Come over, make sure your settings are your JPEG levels. Now if you have them really high, they're going to be big files, going to take longer to load. So let's bring this down to about a medium for an example and click save and let's export this here and let's just throw it any folder where you want make sure you have right here to save your type is HTML and images call it whatever you want save it there we go now locate your folder see where you have exported your images also have your HTML let's open the HTML hopefully you have a an editor like Dreamweaver or something that or notepad for that matter be able to edit this HTML document so here we have it inside of Dreamweaver this is CS3 we have our code we have design so here we go each one of these is within a cell overall table so first things first here let's select this top image select the cell we delete it we come up create a table it, within this table click on standard what that means is we're going into a standard view we're no longer in our layout view come down to your bottom here in properties select the image that you want make sure you have your selected folders make sure you can view what your image is our header alright click alt f6 to get back to your layout mode you can also get it from within your view your table mode standard expanded layout do the same thing on your your next cell go ahead delete it grab your table create a table what we're doing is we're setting these images as a background so we can write over top of them click back into standard select your image again alt f6 back to layout now what we do here is grab our cell, which is your blue one, your, drop your cell inside of the, the table, drop your cell inside of the table, and now what we can do is once we click inside of a, of a cell, we can type our lovely text. Okay, So I'm just going to throw in some quick text here just so 
everyone can see kind of how it's done. All right, so wherever you want to write and you want an image background, you set it inside of a table background. Unfortunately, with today's standards, you still can't send out in like a, using a div tag or or CSS and um, emailers. So it's defaults back to the standard uh, HTML document with tables and cells. Um, granted, there are some tricks around that, but I'll go into that in a different tutorial. So, anyways, we have this here. Make sure we file, we save it. All right, the next really important piece here is wherever you're going to be hosting this, once you save this HTML file in your images, you upload it to a server. Now, say for an example, we have this image here. As we see down here in our source code in our properties, it just says images slash mock mailer in the image name. Well, in order for something to send via email, we would have to change the source to, say, www. Uh, business name dot com slash and then it would go into images because so what it's going to do is it's going to be pulling it from other people's computers from their inbox or email uh, email servers what well, this extension needs to be in there so that way the images load um, if it's not in there you'll get broken images and the email won't send properly so moving right along here we'd file we'd save it once we went and did that to all of our images, save. Now see how this is broken here? Because this extension in my properties is trying to pull this, this image, and that image isn't on the server yet. So then we upload it to the server. We verify through the URL, you know, whatever we named it. It would be like www.businessname.com slash mockmailer.html. Once we view that, we can send that page from our browsers to say if your Yahoo or Gmail account be one way to do it. Um, and it propagates inside of your email, and you can send it out to everybody else. That's a quick, down and dirty way to do uh, a simple email or starting off in Photoshop, walking through Dreamweaver. Alright, talk to you all again soon.